Hey y'all, what's up? Sports Live in the ATL, David here. I just wanted y'all to get a shot of this, just for the fact that you don't need to see my ugly mug every single video. <laughs> but this right here is a lot of shots that a lot of people are used to seeing in my car whenever I'm here. Um, it's a little rainy right now. It's kind of peaceful, a little bit, sort of, I guess you could say. I'm here taking a little nap before I clock in. Uh, this is a fun video for me because I always enjoy talking about this subject. Um, I'm a huge pro wrestling fan, always have been. I grew up on it. I know pro wrestling has talked a lot on YouTube. You know, you got various pro wrestling um, YouTube channels who talk about pro wrestling and who bring it every day. There's a lot of, there's some out there that I like. I don't remember them by names, but I know there are some that um, talk about Monday Night Raw or SmackDown or AEW, NWA, um, Reality of Wrestling. ROH, New Japan Pro, you know, and, and they update you all every day on wrestling. And that's just not me, though, because I don't have time to go in depth and digging in on pro wrestling and all the scoops and all that. What I When I talk about pro wrestling, I talk about it just from my experiences and uh, memories of it, what I love to watch, what I love to, to see and things I don't like now. Um, I had a live a couple days ago. It was pretty good. It was basically a pro wrestling live, and I enjoyed talking about that. Um so I'll just kind of break it down just a little bit. Uh, I grew up in the 80s, so when it came to the 80s, the pro wrestling that was really legit and fun to watch back then, uh, obviously, was the World Wrestling Federation. I know you can't, I guess they can't really say that word anymore because it's from the Wildlife Federation, but it was back then known as the WWF. I grew up watching it with Hulk Hogan and the Macho Man Randy Savage, yeah! You know, and uh, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning, um, uh, Ricky, Ricky Steamboat, Bobby Heenan, the list goes on and on and on. Captain Lou Albano. I remember watching uh, the WWF. It was like Superstars and Primetime Wrestling with Gorilla Monsoon. And it was just a fun time. It was, it was funny. It was comical. The storylines were entertaining. And it was pro wrestling. Um, and then they had the NWA. Uh, that, I grew up with that on Superstation TBS. Uh, it, was a, it was what NWA was a, on Georgia Pro Wrestling on Saturday nights, and it became WCW Saturday night, where they had the Nature Boy Ric Flair and the Four Horsemen, Barry Windham, Road Warriors, uh, Rock and Roll Express, Midnight Express, Fantastics, some of the staples, Ricky Steamboat of 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 that era. And it was great to watch. It was fun to watch because I had shows on Saturday, Sunday. It's just fun. I know you, you, you could get your WWF fix on the weekend, your your uh, NWA fix on the weekend. Uh, so those were fun times. I also really enjoyed WCCW, which was World Class Championship Wrestling. That was based in Dallas, Texas with uh, Bill Mercer, uh, the announcer. Um, then you had the wrestlers, obviously the Von Erichs, Kevin Carey. Fritz Von Erich, Mike Von Erich, Chris Von Erich, um, the fabulous Freebirds. What a rivalry they had back then. Ravishing Rick Root started out there. They had the Dingo Warrior, which wound up uh, transforming himself into the Ultimate Warrior. Lot that that was probably about as realistic wrestling as I've ever seen in my life. A lot of hatred between the, a lot of the wrestlers back then, and and just coming up on Saturday nights at 11 o'clock on 30, Channel 33 was awesome. It was fun to watch. It was fun wrestling to watch. Um, the UWF, Universal Wrestling Federation with Bill Watts, that was uh, where I think Jim Russ got his break. That had a lot of the Fantastics, the Freebirds, uh, um, uh, the, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, God, Jesus Christ, drawing a blank right now. The Sheik. Um... Scandor, General Scandor, Akbar and his army, uh, Ted DiBiase, Hacksaw, Jim Duggan back then, Sting, Hot Stuff, Eddie Gilbert, Missy Hyatt, Jack Victory. Great storylines back in the UWF. That kind of remind, they kind of intertwined themselves with the uh, WCCW world class and then kind of transitioned a little bit into NWA. I think that was, was bought by NWA at some point, but that was fun. Memphis Wrestling, USWA, uh, Lance Russell, uh, Jerry Lawler. They was popular there. Bill Dundee, Hot Stuff, Eddie Gilbert, Austin Idol, Tommy Wildfire, Rich. Just a lot of great wrestling then. I mean, the territorial wrestling was fun back in the day. You know, pro wrestling in general was fun back in the day. 
And then now you got, uh, to me, I think now the WWE, it's not as fun anymore. It's lost its luster for me years ago. Storylines are bland. Storylines are predictable. Storylines, you know, aren't realistic because you can just go on Twitter and you can see that a lot of the hatred that's amongst the wrestlers, they like each other off Twitter. So unless you're living under a rock, you, you put two and two together. It's like, why are they fighting each other and all this brutality hatred when you go on Twitter and Instagram and YouTube and see they like each other? You know, social media has ruined pro wrestling storylines, in my opinion. It really has. Social media has ruined pro wrestling storylines because it brings out the fact that it's not real, that it's choreographed. It's just, and the, the love hate relationships, most hated relationships, they like each other off the off because they, everybody posts YouTube channel. I think if you're a pro wrestler, you need to be careful with that. You know, they, you have a lot of wrestlers back in the day who stayed the course of their character, you know, even when the shows weren't going on. But now people can be such a hardcore villain. Yet, on YouTube, they act nice as hell. And so it's kind of hard to, to believe. Um, to me, I think the best wrestling promotions around right now are AEW with Cody Rhodes and Brandy Rhodes and Chris Jericho, La Champion, and, and a lot, the Inner Circle, Dark Order. Some of those storylines are cheesy, but they're very realistic. You know, I mean, the storylines in AEW are very, very realistic for the most part. The wrestling is really good. It's taken back to the days of the territorial days. You know, it reminds me a lot of WCCW and NWA when it was kicking UWF back then. So kudos to Cody for putting that product on there. And on YouTube, you can watch NWA uh, Pro. It's called NWA Power. Really, really good. It was bought out by, uh, it started up actually by Billy Corrigan, who the lead singer of the Sm and the creator of Smashing Pumpkins, brought studio wrestling back. It looks just like WCW with the flags and the in-studio wrestling. You got Nick Aldis, formerly known as Magnus, as the world champion. Molina's there. Rock and Roll Express are there. Um, you got some guys, um, um, Nick, what's it, uh, uh yeah, um, Jesus, God, getting old, man, and you draw a brain fart. Um, James Storm is there. Um, Eli Drake is there. You got some good tag teams there. Some interesting storylines. Thunder Rosa, she's got a YouTube channel, World, Ladies World Champion. Really, it's just exciting. That's an exciting product, and you can watch it online. Just type in NWA Power. Um, and then you got Reality of Wrestling. I think that's the one with Booker T in Houston. It's all right. I'm not really... You know, unless the names are notable, it's hard for me to watch. But every now and then you get some of the veterans that go over there, including Booker T himself. The OVW is kind of, that bores me. That's on YouTube, but that bores the hell out of me, to be quite frank with you. I don't recognize nobody. The show is bland, so I don't really watch OVW. Um, and Championship Wrestling is on. Those, it seems like they go back and forth and use some of the talent from NWA Power. You know, it's, it's all right, but... Unless, I, unless there are a few notable names, it's hard for me to get started. So, But that's my opinion. Pro wrestling has taken a huge hit from the 80s, but some of the, the organizations that are starting, like AEW and NWA Power, are bringing it back. And honestly speaking, those shows I watch more than WWE. I'm being quite frank with you. I remember religiously, I used to record Raw and SmackDown constantly. Now I just watch the videos on YouTube. WWE and just watch the Eskers. I can't really watch a whole show. Even if I'm off, I don't really watch the whole show because they just don't entertain me like they used to. And maybe it's just changing with the times. Maybe my expectations are higher. You know, I would rather watch a, a AWE show, AEW show through an NWA Power show through. That's just quite frank with you. So, you know, traditionalist pro wrestler, wrestling fan is what I am. You know, a lot of the use nowadays, it seems like they like AEW and NWA more than WWE. I think WWE has lost its direction, you know, to be quite honest with you. And uh, But that's my opinion. Po post your comments below, your opinions on pro wrestling. You can com post any comment you want, and uh, I'll answer it. And uh, I'm thinking about doing maybe a weekly sports show, not really a call-in show, just like maybe sports talk with Sleeta. I don't know. I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm new with transitioning over my channel now. I got where I needed to be. So now I'm just trying to just continue to produce interesting content. And in the occasional, I'll trash talk. You know, the occasional somebody fires me up enough. But that's my opinion on pro wrestling. Comments below. I know I got pro wrestling fans that watch me. Uh, your opinions are greatly appreciated. Again, thanks, everybody, for helping me accomplish what I needed to accomplish. Just inside 
and it's a great accomplishment and a great feeling. I feel vindicated. I feel I feel full circle. I don't want to keep beating a dead horse, but I feel like I feel like I've accomplished what I need. I've come full circle as a YouTube video maker. Now I just want to just keep producing content for all of my fans and, and everything. And so I look forward to the future interaction. Thank you, Sports Ivan ATL, David, and I'm out, y'all.